Buy now, pay later apps revolutionizing credit or fueling a new debt crisis. Panorama. Watch on iPlayer. This is BBC News, I'm Lucrezia Burak. We're broadcasting to viewers in the UK and around the world. Our headlines. A key witness speaks publicly after Ghislaine Maxwell was found guilty of grooming underage girls to be abused by Jeffrey Epstein. I just feel so grateful that the jury believed us and sent a strong message that perpetrators of sexual abuse and exploitation will be held accountable no matter how much power and privilege that they have. The number of daily COVID admissions to hospital in England has nearly doubled in a week, from just over 1,000 a week ago to more than 2,000. Europe looks to build its defences against a new wave of COVID infections as the number of cases continues to surge. Days after launching into orbit, it's the make or break moment for the James Webb Space Telescope as it starts to unfurl its tennis court size shut sun shield. Hello and welcome. If you're watching in the UK on or on PBS in the US or everywhere around the world. Now, a woman who gave key evidence in the trial of Ghislaine Maxwell has spoken publicly today, saying that she hopes the guilty verdict will bring some solace to other survivors. Annie Farmer, the only witness to use her real name during testimony, said the case demonstrated that no one was above the law. Maxwell was found guilty yesterday by a jury in New York of grooming underage girls to be abused by her